The first step is to roast our makhana for which here I am heating up 2 teaspoon of ghee that is clarified butter in a saucepan. Once the ghee is all melted, I am adding in some makhanas. These are also known as fox nuts or lotus seeds. So let's roast this until they turn golden brown and crispy. So this is what we are after. The makhanas turn lightly golden brown in color and crispy and crunchy. When you press it in between your fingers, it will easily break apart. So that is what we are after. Once you achieve that, transfer it to a blender, coarsely grind it and keep it aside. You can even use a mortal and pestle for doing the same job. So our next step is to start with the preparation of kheer. For which in the same pan I am adding about 3 cups of milk that is around 750 ml. We will be cooking this until it reduces to half its quantity. Once you see that the milk has started steaming, take out 2 tablespoon of milk and add it to a big pinch of saffron to make your saffron milk that is kesarwala dood. We will put this to a side so that the saffron releases all its beautiful aroma and flavor in the milk. Meanwhile, keep cooking your milk and as you can see it has reduced to half its quantity to scrape the sides that gives you a creamy and yummy kheer. At this stage when the milk has reduced a bit, we will be adding the coarsely grounded and roasted fox nuts that is the makhana. By the way guys, if you are looking for some savory recipes using this makhana, then I have shared one on the blog. I'll link that in the description box below for you. Mix this up and cook it for further 10 minutes you, and when you will see the milk has reduced to exactly half the quantity. It has become thicker in consistency uh, than what we had started with. Kheer is so nostalgic. Doesn't it bring so many childhood memories? Comment below and let me know what memory you have with a kheer. Uh, do remember to stir the milk in between and also scrape the sides out to get a creamy and malaidar kheer. The milk has reduced a lot so at this stage we'll be adding our sugar into it. Mix it through and add in the cardamom powder. A kheer is incomplete without the flavor of cardamom, right? Mix that through and add in your saffron milk that you had prepared at the beginning. Look at that beautiful yellow color. So rich and naturally colored making any dessert look so fancy. Mix that through too and finally add in nuts of your choice. I am using some almonds, pistachios, cashew nuts. Mix that through too and let it boil for a further of 5 minutes or until to a stage where you want it to be thicker or thinner in consistency. Finally, it is time to present our dish in a beautiful manner to make it even more appealing to the eyes. I am serving it in a cup and saucer form because instead of my evening tea, I am going to have this warm and soothing makhane ki kheer. It's so cold in here that something warm, something comforting is what all I am craving for. I cannot stress how nutritionally enriched this makhana is. Along with the nuts, it makes a complete package. To know more about it, do visit my blog spicesandflavors.com for all the detailed information. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, do hit the like button, share it with your friends and family. Comment below and let me know which is your favorite kheer. And subscribe to Spices and Flavors for more such baking and dessert recipes. 
I'll see you soon with yet another one. Until then, this is Sushma signing off from Spices and Flavors. Take care. Bye-bye.